All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all my Blu-rays. I have more DVDs than Blu-rays, and I've already done videos on that. Uh, they're all over there. But we're gonna go ahead and currently go through all of the Blu-rays that I own. 99% of them are down here right now. I think there's like one or two or three floating around upstairs that I previously had watched recently, but nothing big, nothing crazy. Uh, so I'll go through them all. This is basically all of them right here. I have some 4K titles up there that you'll see. But we'll go through right now, and uh, without further ado, here we go. So first I start off, I got the James Bond collection. My mom got me this for uh, for Christmas this past year. I also have Austin Powers that I've had for a while. I got the trilogy right there. Back to the Future trilogy, 25th anniversary. I've had this for quite some time. I also got the Harry Potter 8 film collection on Blu-ray, which is just a necessity for me at this point. <laughs> I have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is a good one. I got that for like 10 bucks at Target one day. Couldn't beat the price. Here is the Hobbit trilogy, which I like, but I'm more of a Lord of the Rings guy. Uh, the Hunger Games. This is a good one to have. I like the Hunger Games. It's not like my favorite or anything like that, but I definitely like the Hunger Games and uh, enjoy having that in my collection. Also have Jurassic World. Five movie collection. This is a good find. I got it for like 30 bucks at Target not too long ago. I also have the Mission Impossible 6 movie collection. This was a Black Friday find. I got that at Target as well from the previous Black Friday. I also have the Pirates of the Caribbean, all three, the, the, you know, three original movies. I don't have the rest of them, but I do have these. Here's the original one, and those are a fun watch. I also have the Twilight Saga, five movie collection. I haven't even cracked this one open yet, but I do like Twilight. Some people hate on it, but it's all good. Uh, Star Wars Complete Saga. I ended up getting this for like two bucks or something like that. Maybe it was four. Maybe, I think it was four dollars at the Salvation Army. And uh, that was an awesome find in really good condition. I have Rogue One, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. So that, that's all the ones that I have. I don't have like the most recent Star Wars movie. Honestly, the newer ones, I'm not much of a fan of. I mean, they're pretty good movies, but nothing beats the uh, the originals. I also have Apocalypse Now. This is a cool find. I found this at Target. I had to have it. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, if you've ever seen that, it's a really good watch. Top Gun. Gotta have Top Gun. I actually have the new Top Gun Maverick movie pre-ordered. Uh, that should be here whenever that comes out. I think in like November. Uh, anyway, so that's good with the HDR 4K version of that. Oh, also, this is a 4K Ultra HD. Um, Close Encounters of a Third Kind. It's pretty sweet. Good to have. Jojo Rabbit 4K. I love this movie. Bohemian Rhapsody, another great movie. I'm a big uh, fan of Freddie Mercury and Queen. Sully, another Ultra HD movie that I have pretty good movie great like you know obviously that guy's a hero in real life uh 21 jump street regular blu-ray and then i think the rest of these can be regular blu-rays uh 51st dates oh we also have i got the spanish version of uh 22 jump street so yeah 21 jump street 22 jump street 51st dates that's a fun one apollo 13 20th anniversary on on blu-ray great movie I get the Halloween. You've probably seen this in my other videos. Uh, Halloween 2 movie collection. So that's like the newest one and the, and the most recent one. I'm sorry, the oldest one and the most recent one. I have a uh, Night of the Comet. That's a pretty cool one. This is a show, uh, Scream Factory one uh, copy. The Devil Inside. This movie is kind of weird. I got this in like a Big Lots. <clears throat> Wasn't that great? Stephen King's The, the Mist. It's a good one. If you've never seen it, definitely worth watching. Uh, the Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead movie. Very cool. And then I got Friday the 13th. So we're kind of going through like the horror movies. So these are all eight movie collection. And then here's the uh, killer cut of Friday the 13th, the remake. And then we have Get Out. This movie's nuts if you've never seen that. It's pretty interesting psychological horror. The Thing two movie box set so it's the original thing and then it's the uh the newer prequel both really good the original being awesome obviously 
The Witch. This is a good movie. Uh, definitely bizarre, but I really like this one if you get the chance. Jeepers Creepers. I got this at Dollar Tree, and it came with this interesting artwork on it. So you can actually like, take that off, and I think the cover is different, but I'm not going to do that. We have 10 Cloverfield Lane, and then it's the regular Cloverfield. So that's a cool little pickup I got. 1917, this movie's awesome. If you haven't seen it, it's really cool. It basically looks like the whole thing's shot in one one shot, uh, you know, one scene. Or um, all in one shot, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cool. American Sniper, it's a good one. We got Anchorman, I actually haven't even cracked this one open yet. I've just seen the movie that many times. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks, big, it's a pretty good one. The Breakfast Club, I still haven't opened this one up. I've seen this movie so many times. Uh, Bridge of Spies is pretty good. I picked this one up at Goodwill probably like a year or so ago. Another Tom Hanks flick. Commando. This is like one of those movies I used to watch as a kid all the time. This, I got this movie for 75 cents at Big Lots. Still sealed. Clean, uh, clean and Present Danger. I've never seen that. Uh, if it's any good, let me know. I'll probably, you know, can't go wrong with Harrison Ford. We got Chronicle. Chronicle's pretty cool. Clear Skin, another Dollar Tree pickup. I haven't even gotten the chance to watch this yet. I think it's a British flick. And then we have the original Cloverfield. So I guess I have two copies of that. <laughs> das Boot, this is a really good World War II flick. About a German U-boat and some guys, you know, some sailors that got stuck in a U-boat. Deadheading, this movie was surprisingly not that bad, but it was super low budget. Dollar Tree pickup. District 9. Had this forever. This is probably like one of my first Blu-rays. Downfall with uh, Adolf Hitler's Last Days. Pretty good movie. Definitely a sensitive subject. Jill Bit Taylor. Pretty funny. Owen Wilson flick. Not the best though. Alright, we got Elysium. Pretty good movie. I like that a lot. Enemy at the Gates. I've seen it so many times, I haven't even cracked it open. It's just the fact that I own it. it makes me feel good, I guess. <laughs> That's what it's all about when it comes to collecting. We got Hook, R.I.P., uh, Rob Williams. Uh, Everfall, this is another Dollar Tree pickup. I haven't even seen it yet. Not sure if I'm going to ever watch it. We'll get there when we get there. VFW, I want to watch this, just haven't gotten there yet. Another Dollar Tree find. Uh, Escaping from Auschwitz. World War II flick. I still haven't seen it. So I have a lot of sealed stuff still, unfortunately. But I am watching them. It's just taking time. Fist Fight, it's a good one, pretty funny. Fury, excellent movie. The Great Escape, very good movie. Steve McQueen. What a classic. Godzilla. Pretty good. Not bad. I kinda like the older stuff better. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Great movie. Still haven't even opened this one, but. I got it for like five bucks, not, yeah, five dollars. <laughs> not a bad deal. Gravity, great movie. I saw it in theaters. Actually, it was at a movie theater in, oh man, I forget where, but it was one you could order food and like drink beer. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Gray, had this forever. Good movie. Hall Pass, absolutely hilarious. Midsommar, recently got this for like seven something. I think it was like $7.50 at the uh, Target, my local Target. So good find, good price. Hard to find these nowadays. I don't know why. Hereditary, another great movie. These are both uh, Ari Aster films. Very bizarre, but very good. Not for everyone. Uh, just another copy of The Hunger Games, the original movie. So that's a duplicate. I'm number four. This came out when I was in high school. I thought it was like a cool movie at the time. Still pretty good. I was hoping for a sequel, but it never happened. Uh, Indubious Battle. I I don't know. This is a good one. Another Dollar Tree pickup. And then we get the John Hughes 5 movie, movie collection. So we have uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which is awesome. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She's Having a Baby. Pretty in Pink. And Some Kind of Wonderful. All great movies. Awesome find. I think that was 20 bucks at... Um, Target, but you can get it cheaper on Amazon, I think. The Hangover, I got this at the Dollar Tree. This kind of set me off right here because I got a steel book. And this is when I, why I started doing Dollar Tree videos because 
I couldn't believe that I got this for a dollar. A steel book of, you know, probably one of the funniest movies out there. First Blood, awesome Stallone flick. Gotta love it. Steel book. Bel Canto, I don't know why I still have this. It's a good movie, Dollar Tree pickup, but I don't know. It's like one of those you watch it once and then you're good. And Glorious Bastards on the other hand, great movie. Glad I still have it. Saw that in theaters when I was in high school with my buddies and it was just a great time. Uh, Lego Movie 1 and the Lego Movie 2. Good stuff. You know, good family movie to watch with the kids. I don't have any of those yet, so just fun to watch. <laughs> Neverland, that's uh, another Dollar Tree pickup. I didn't even finish that. It was kind of, eh. Didn't really like where it was going. Uh, Purple Rain, still haven't seen this, but I just bought it because Prince was in it, and why not? The Polar Express, gotta have it. It's a good Christmas time. Actually, we're coming up on Christmas here in, what, three or four months? So, yeah. Not even. <laughs> all right, so what do we got here? Possession, Cabin in the Woods, and Sinister, all good scary flicks. Rampant, I actually like this a lot. It was from the creator of uh, Train to Busan. So really good movie. If you get a chance, definitely watch it. And I think I picked this up at Dollar Tree. So yeah, couldn't beat that. That's a good one. Good Korean flick. Lords of Dogtown, excellent movie. So glad to have it. Platoon, gotta love it. Oh wait, hold on, I got one up here. Um... Uh, I still need to organize this better, but yeah, we have uh, Clockwork Orange. Really good flick. Had to get it. I have it on DVD, but I had to have it on the 4K. So, one of my favorite, all-time favorite movies. A Quiet Place Part 2. I don't have Part 1, but I've seen Part 1 like four times. Uh, Over the Hedge. The Road Warrior. Did I say Platoon? Uh, yeah. Okay, Platoon. Excellent movie. Um, Robocop. Jaws. This is excellent. I think this Robocop is actually the remake. Got it for $1.50. I haven't seen it yet. Kiki's Delivery Service. Great movie. Love it. I remember watching this as a kid. So it's making it nostalgic now. Trainwreck. This is my wife's movie. I thought it was alright. Not bad. Not bad. Then we get my Transformers. Dark Side of the Moon. And then we have Revenge of the Fallen. At one point, this was a $28 movie. Blu-ray. <clears throat> I didn't pay that much. I think I paid $1.50 at the Salvation Army. Lone Survivor. Got Jason Bourne. This was a this was a freebie. I uh, picked this up at my local American Legion. They have movies you can just drop off and pick up. So I dropped some off and I picked that one up. Uh, Secret Life of Pets. This actually came with one and two. <laughs> Someone just scratched in there. I got this at Thanks, Salvation Army. So that was cool. We have the Maze Runner. Pretty good flick. I enjoyed it greatly. Miracle. Really good movie. Surprisingly, Navy Seals was pretty good. I picked this one up at, if you look at my older videos, I pretty much want to say this is Dollar General. Really good movie. Didn't even know about it. Charlie Sheen was in it. Another bunch of other guys. Good movie. New Kids, this one I drove all the way to Rhode Island for to go to a Dollar Tree that Flea Market Falcon went to. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys watched Flea Market Falcon, but I've been looking for this movie forever and it wasn't at any of my local places. So I took the uh, fairly long drive to go pick it up. And plus it was kind of fun uh, to go on the road. Go on the road and find it. Nice little road trip. Up in the Air, great movie. Wolf of Wall Street, absolutely had to have this. I think I got this for only, uh, I think it was like five bucks. Yeah, it was five dollars on Amazon. I think I got it on Prime Day. Uh, Fifteen Seventeen to Paris. It's a great movie about, you know, um, what was it when that terrorist happened? I don't know. He just, anyways, good movie. Your Highness, another great one. Pretty funny. Train Spotting, one of my all-time favorites. Great Ellen McGregor flick. War Dogs. This was a Dollar Tree find back when they were only a dollar. 
uh, World War Z 3D. So this comes with the, obviously, the 3D version, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. So basically got me covered on all platforms. I don't have a 3D player, so. Uh, Super Bowl LI. Okay, I actually went to this Super Bowl in, in person. It was pretty cool. So I had to have that on uh, Blu-ray. I, uh, I, Tanya, it's a good one. Highly recommend to watch that. Bugs Life. Everyone knows Bugs Life. That was a good flea market find. Mel Gibson, The Patriot. Another flea market find. And the Patton. So all three of these came from the same, uh, same vendor at a flea market. Worked a deal. I think I got all three of those for like seven bucks. Never Ending Story. Actually, this one came from too. So yeah, all four of these... I got the flea market from the same vendor. So if you go back, you can see one of my flea market videos and uh, yeah, you'll see where I got those. Gwen, I got this when I was in Florida at a Dollar Tree. Smuggled at home. <laughs> uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, pretty good movie. You know, basic Ben Stiller flick. So we got Terminator, uh, Genesis, and then we have the original Terminator. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, you know, a little two for one deal. This is, uh, there we go. Uh, the Standoff at Sparrow Creek. Pretty good movie. I got this at Dollar Tree. The Fighter, $2.50. Got that over at uh, Big Lots. This is a, a newer one I just got. Hardcore Henry. Got that at Dollar Tree with um, the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer 3D. And yeah, this one, actually, I'm going to do a review on soon. Because that was quite the movie. All I'm going to say is I really enjoyed it. We got War Horse. That was a... I found that at like the Salvation Army, I believe. Batman Begins. Still haven't opened that. Actually, it says Best Buy on here. But I did pick that up at Dollar Tree. We have Twilight, New Moon. I don't really need that anymore since I... I already have the whole collection. Another Wolf Cop. I still haven't watched this, but I do have it. Dollar Tree pickup. I forgot how many of these are actually from Dollar Tree. I think half my collection at this point is Dollar Tree. <laughs> at least a third of it. We have Blades of Glory. Good pickup. Atomica. Uh, this movie was kind of weird. I don't know why I still have it. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really quite recommend it. Inception. Got to have the... Uh, it's got this cool old school cover. Operation Overlord, Dollar Tree pickup, but it was actually really good. Breaking Dawn, Twilight, like I said, these are in order. I don't really need that one anymore. <laughs> That's a duplicate. Uh, we have Passengers, pretty good movie. Like, I don't know, I don't think it like the best ratings, but I like this one a lot, you know, it's pretty cool. Definitely worth watching if you like stuff that takes place in outer space. Life of Pi, this is one of my favorites. Richard Parker, love it. Uh, I haven't even watched that. Some Steven Seagal stuff. Dollar Tree pickup. Action Point. I've seen it, but I haven't opened this one. Downsizing. I've seen that as well, but I haven't opened this one yet. Shark Tales. This was an upgrade. I had this on, on DVD, but I felt like upgrading it. Smurfs. Haven't seen it. Ooh, Full Metal Jacket. This was also an upgrade. Got this at the flea market for like... I don't know, really cheap. Probably not even a dollar. Rango, good old upgrade. Love this movie. Johnny Depp's in it, so it's cool. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Duplicate. Um, I think this is Money Monster or something like that. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Dollar Tree pickup. We have... Those are kind of in the way. We have Dances with Wolves. This is the 20th anniversary, so that's a good one. Fast and Furious 7. I think this is the Spanish version. Yep, it is. And that was a Dollar Tree pickup. Goodfellas, had to have it. One of my all-time favorites. Great movie if you haven't seen it. It's a must. Then we have Game of Thrones. I think I have a season... I'm missing one of them. They're upstairs. But, yeah, Game of Thrones on Blu-ray. Uh, we'll start from here. Band of Brothers on Blu-ray. This was a... Whoop. This was a... Uh, 
Black Friday find. Oh no. Oh, I'll fix that later. Distorted John Cusack flick. Wasn't bad. Wasn't great either. But I kind of want to watch it again just to see. You know, sometimes you gotta watch it multiple times to figure things out. Uh, the Deadlands. I haven't seen this yet. Dollar Tree pickup. The Titanic. We've all seen the Titanic. The Knowing. Good Nicolas Cage flick. Moonfall, one of the newer movies that came out recently. Thought it was pretty good. A League of Their Own, classic. Good Tom Hanks movie. Oh, yeah, we got the extended cut of Stallone Rambo. Oh, God, such a good movie. And then, oh, yeah, this is uh, another Batman flick. So The Dark Knight Rises in Spanish. Got that from Dollar Tree. Some Stallone flicks. So, yeah. Pineapple Express. Absolutely hilarious. Super 8. Kind of reminds me of Stranger Things. Black Hawk Down. This was an upgrade. Across the Universe. It's a good, you know. I haven't seen it in forever, but it is a good movie. With the you know it has to do with the Beatles and stuff, or the Beatles music, very cool. We are Marshall. Uh, I just kind of bought this. I don't think I've ever seen it. Disturbia, very very good uh, movie. This was a Dollar Tree find, believe it or not, and it was an upgrade. Uh, I don't have a lot of steel books, but here's another one. We got Zoolander. I was waiting for this to go on sale forever at Big Lots, and it just didn't. So I spent the five dollars. I'm sure you could find it at a Dollar Tree for a buck now, but I waited around forever. The Italian Job, good Mark and Mark flick. True Grit and John Wayne and Hondo. We have uh, Mall Cop, Paul Blart. A Night in Old Mexico. I actually ended up going uh, back to Dollar Tree and picking this up because one of my viewers suggested getting it, so... Definitely uh, had to pick that up. And then we have Mary. That was a okay movie. The Legend of Tamaris, another Dollar Tree pickup, like most of these are. <laughs> this uh, this was actually really good, and I didn't think it was gonna be good, but my mom picked this up at her local Dollar Tree, and I gave it a, sh a chance. And man, was this a good movie! So if you guys ever have the chance, this is really cool, really good if you like history. Then we have the Unity of Heroes. I haven't seen this yet, but it's a Dollar Tree flick. Uh, An Empress and the Warriors, another Dollar Tree flick. The First King. I actually, I thought this was going to be a lot better than it was, but I couldn't get through like the first half hour of it. It's all in Latin, and I just, I don't know, maybe it was just a bad day to watch it. I'll have to give it another chance, but it got kind of boring. They have, uh, what is this, Green Zone? So, yeah, good old Matt Damon. And then we have, yeah, Wrath of the Titans in Espanol. So I got a lot of Spanish flicks. Been picking them up. So that's it, guys. That's all my Blu-rays. I have some DVDs and stuff. Well, actually, I have some South Park Blu-rays down there, too. But those are kind of all just TV shows and stuff. But uh, that's really it. I really appreciate you guys watching, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I know it was a little long today. Um, I have kind of slowed down a little bit on collecting Blu-rays just because with everything so expensive right now, I really can't afford to go out and keep buying everything every, every second I get. Uh, it's almost like an addiction at this point. <laughs> but um, anyways, it's, it's great. And uh, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate your support. And I think I'm about to hit 500 subscribers this week and that's huge for me. I never thought I'd get that many. So thanks so much, guys. And until next time, we'll see you.